What's up people, Von Red one here, and this is the video I promised so long ago, this is my PC build being done. I'll admit right now, the time lapse that I'm going to have isn't the best possible way it could have been, but that's because I had this camcorder that didn't have the best stand, like I, I made it work, but like the table and everything we built it didn't provide the best possible viewing experience, but that being said, this was still, um, a pretty good build for us um, it took us like in total maybe an hour I brought everything over to my friend's house and he helped me he did most of the work to be honest because he's built them before I just did a little bit like plugging in the RAM and stuff like that and it looks like we we're going for retard we put the um, stuff together first to make sure it worked because we tried this before and my motherboard was um, DOA so I had to send that back and I just got it back so we did the build today um well not today but and the other day so that's why we start building it first outside of the computer then we put it inside. But thanks for watching and without further ado, let's get to the build. I'll go over the parts first, then we'll get right into the time lapse. Thanks again for watching. Okay, so first up we have the MSI Z97 Gaming 5 motherboard. I got this on sale from Newegg for $124.99 around the time of Black Friday and this was actually dead on arrival when I got the first one so I had to send it back to MSI and they just sent back the replacement and it was a pretty good process didn't take too long and I got back aboard and this one does work for the processor I chose the i7 4790k I wanted a processor that could have at least 4 gigahertz and this one does it at the base clock so if I do choose to overclock it it will just be overkill and I could just take even more advantage of it but I don't plan to overclock it anytime soon since 4 gigahertz is more than enough for most tasks I, I intend to be using the computer for. For the RAM I chose Corsair Vengeance Pro 16 gigabytes. And the funny thing about this RAM is apparently with my, with my motherboard and processor you can't use this at its full potential without overclocking it. So I won't be getting 2400 megahertz. I'll be getting like 1600 or something around there. But that should be more than enough. I don't plan to um, use the RAM for anything particularly interesting. So that's still good enough and I can overclock it later anyways. For the CPU fan, I chose the Coolmaster Hyper 212 Evo. This was actually a gift from a friend, the same one that helped me build this computer. And I want this one because the ones that come with the processor are kind of garbage and I want one that could actually keep it cool. And this does the job in spades. It's also hard to install, but we got it, anything's possible. <laughs> For the power supply, I went with the EVGA 500 watt, and this is actually the only used part in the build. This was um from my other friend, he had, from my same friend, he had this power supply for his other one, but he um, exceeded the power requirements, so he just put this up like a month after he used it. So it's more or less new, which is sitting there, and this is more, more than enough for mine. I only need like 400 watts. For the SSD and boot drive, I chose the Samsung A50 Evo, 250 gigs, and I plan to use this for the um, operating systems and other various programs like Steam and um, Microsoft Office, things like that. I hate having to wait for computers to warm up before you can actually use them, so with this, that should be a thing of the past. For the hard drive, I chose Western Digital Blue, one terabyte. This is a temporary drive, to be honest. I'm going to get one better eventually. But for now, this is more than enough. I've never needed more than a terabyte for anything, not even my current laptop. So one terabyte will hold me off for a while. For the case, I chose the NZXT H440, the red and black version. I've gone through many different cases. I thought about this one for a while and did another one for a while. But I decided on this one because I like how sleek it looks. I like the whole NZXT logo that you can see through the mirror. And I just like the um, overall look of the whole case. And this thing is massive. Like, the picture doesn't really do it justice. It's way more wider than you would expect for a case to be. And I probably just used grammar improperly there. But still, I like this case. And um, yeah, I finally got that. This was like the third to last piece I bought for it. But that's about it. Without further ado, let's get on to the PC build. And I have to warn you now, there is a moment in this video where we did something that was an epic fail. So <laughs> I'll put a um, clip in for that. Enjoy.
And there you have it everyone, I proudly present the Bleeding Edge Rig. No, it's not finished yet, but uh, everything else is there. All I need now is the graphics card and I can officially start using this thing for my demanding gaming. I can still play games like Brawlhalla and stuff like that with this um, computer now. Like I said, I still need Windows, but um, it's done more or less. The card is so easy to install, I just really plug it in and um, get the drivers and I'll be set. And the card I should have by the end of the year. Um, it's just very expensive and I'm a college student so I'm still trying to save up some money for it. But yeah, that's it. Uh, it's been a while. I started, um, I bought my first part for this computer back in um, November of last year and now it's finally put together. It works. I just need Windows and I can start using it. So yeah, I'm a very proud moment. Yeah, I see. I, I didn't do much in building it. I just put in some stuff to the motherboard. I let him handle the wires because I would have got lost. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments um, how you think about what you think about it, what you think of the video. I know the time lapse wasn't the best quality, but it was just us two. I was like helping him build and also recording. I needed some good lighting and everything. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'll have all, this, all the specs again in the comments section. I mean, in the um, video description. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about it and everything. And on that note, I'm out. I'll just leave you with um, a picture of the completed build. And thanks for watching. Peace out.